It says excellent connection. I love it when it says excellent connection. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Who we got here? Uh, hello, Josiah and the Figure Six Pack and Sparkster and Matt Rubin. Uh, hello, uh, Joshua and Pete uh, and McClurgurgurg and Cyclonus. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, nice to see everyone. Um, all right. So, um, uh, so uh, what would we do? Uh, so I got stuff. Okay. So uh, first of all, hi, hello everybody. Here comes the cat. The cat is trying. To, uh, I, please don't jump on the keyboard, please. Uh, hello, Chris um, and Hito Chung, and uh, Jump in general. Uh, and um, did I, I said hello to Matt already? But hello again. Hello, Ann Smith. How do you do? Um, so there, there's the obligatory, you know, cat appearance. Hello, Andrew. Andrew, the guy's so nice they named him twice. Uh, hello, uh, Jamelin Parks and Joe Fan. Nice to see you. Hello, everybody. Uh, all right, that's that's all we need for the algorithms. Okay, the the algorithm is satisfied. We've had the cat in the show. Hello, Garcia and Alex Floriso. Uh, hello, the Photo Viper. How do you do there? Um, not right now. Sorry, he's climbing my mountain of boxes. I've got. I've got a got a mountain of, of boxes. All this stuff that we are going to open on the on the show. Um, also, uh, classified Doctor Mindbender is supposed to ship very soon. Uh, hello, Samantha. Thank you for being here. Yes, Alistair has uh, has made his appearance, uh, and now he can go destroy something as as cats do. Um, yeah, uh, wait for Mike. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Mike always comes in, asks where the singing cats are, and he's never around, you know. Nor does he start singing on cue. Uh, hello, Dan Jammin. Um, and Chris Meyer, if I didn't say hello to you already, hello. Uh, hey, it's Rob Vegas. Uh, hello uh, to our Australian contingent. Um, so, yes, I have stuff to open. I have that stuff. I also... Got another one of these micro figures, so we'll test our luck with that. As somebody in the um, in the live chat reminded me, uh, I said I was going to do Mad Libs uh, this evening, so I have it. I have it ready. We can do that. I'm going to try to get through all of this so we have time to do everything. Uh, hello, Johnny. Hello, Tony. Uh, so yes, uh, thanks all for being here. Uh, and yes, it's Tuesday. We made it. Uh, hello, Brady. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, so I I um, I checked the PO box, and as as I warned everybody, uh, it's a lot harder to check the the PO box than it used to be. Hello, Eric. Thanks for being here. Because uh, I'm actually it's kind of quite a drive to get to the P.O. Box. So, if you're considering sending something to the P.O. To the PO box, um, just consider that it's it's much more difficult for me to check. Um, so, I don't know how long these have been here. So, we'll but we'll go through those. We'll open them live. Hello, Diosoth. Thank you for being here. Um, so, we'll, we'll go through those and I almost want to, like, go ahead and jump in. Uh, so that we have time to go through all those and uh, open everything and also have time to chat and do a Mad Lib. That's my goal. Um, so, uh, yes. Oh, Detroit. Hello, Detroit from the United States. Thank you very much for joining. Hello, Rich. Uh, Bob's Dungeon. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, so the gang's all here. Please don't destroy anything, Cat. Please don't. Everything up there is expensive. Please be careful. He has no respect. No respect at all. Um, so, yes. Uh, so, we'll jump into that here in just a minute. I just want to say hello to everybody um, and welcome everybody and, and thank everybody for being here. Um, it's nice to see you guys. It really is. It really is. Um, uh, I, I look forward to Tuesday evenings every week. Um, I, ha I have missed a few Tuesdays, but I really hate to miss because it's always a really nice time. Hello, Roger. Um, mega high back. Uh, thank you for being here. So yes, um, I've got some stuff from the P.O. Box. Uh, we will open that stuff. Uh, RTD1, how do you do? Um, and, and Bob's Dungeon is so happy to be here tonight. So am I. So am I. 
Um, so yeah, we're going to we're going to attempt we're going to attempt to do everything, everything. You know, we're going to attempt to open all of the stuff from the PO box. We are going to attempt to do a Mad Lib. We're going to attempt to also open our micro figure and see if we get a GI Joe this time. Uh, we're going to try that, and we're going to try to do it within our usual hour. Hello, Robert. Uh, I don't know if I said hello to Anne, but if not, hello, Anne. Uh, hey, Big Gay Dave, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, who else we got? We got uh, Tony Jackson. I already said hello to Johnny, but hello again. Um, yes, uh, uh, good luck with it. Thank you very much. He's perched right now on the... Um, uh, the old, like the vintage 70s footlocker that I use as a toolbox. He's just perched up there. Uh, and he seems content. He's not destroying anything right now. So, you know, knock on wood. Hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, thank you for being here. So, uh, I guess before I get started, uh, two things to remember. Number one, um, it's Tuesday. That means a uh, new video from Timmer. Uh, on Half the Battle on YouTube. Make sure you check that out. Uh, it's a comic book review. Two, uh, don't forget uh, that Timmer's charity drive is going on now. I am donating a toy for the drawing. I I'm donating the Joe Fest exclusive Unmasked Snake Eyes for the, dr for the charity drawing. Uh, so um, the link for Timmer's charity video is in the description of this video. Please check that out for, to uh, find out the rules and how to participate. But I'm hoping a lot of people will participate this year. Um, so, uh, uh, and uh, Brady is contemplating getting a Cobra baseball jersey. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, so um, shall we dive right in? Like, I, I want to do everything. I want to do everything, but I don't want to be rushed. Also, I don't know what's in the boxes, so I don't know if there's like a lot of stuff to take out and show you. So I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to dive right in. We're going to dive right in. If, if anybody else shows up, I'll try to catch everybody in the live chat and say hello. As you know, if you've been around here, once I get started, um, it, I, I lose track of the live chat. So I'll try to keep up. I'll try to keep up. Hello, David Sharp. Nice to see you. Okay. Um, let's start with the non-boxes. Uh, the cat is back. Hello. Hello, guy. Um, so let's start with the non-boxes. First, I got... Um, and this was actually in my box. Um, the This uh, card for Action Fuzz. So Action Fuzz is um, Darren, and he does these um, basically like action figures uh, made out of pipe cleaners. It's like a crafts thing. And he's been to a couple of the shows that I've been to. It's really cool stuff. So I'm going to start by sharing how to reach him. Um, yeah, check these out. They're very unique and surprisingly detailed for the medium in which he creates so yeah that's that's really cool so i got that i wanted to make sure to show everybody that please that's my water that's not your water that's my water you have your own you have your own next next i got this and this is from john carling john carling we have uh has been a friend of the show for a very long time uh so thank you john uh hello asm42 how do you do uh, thanks for being here. Did I say hello to Robert Perry? If not, hello, Robert Perry. Um, so this is, uh, so this is, oh, I don't want to, sorry. Uh, not, not showing the, the person's, you know, personal address, but this uh, came, so I'm going to open this. I did, I tried, tried to cut off or cover the address on the boxes, but I didn't think about it for the envelope. So let me open this from John Carling. And thank you, John. And thank you for your large, uh, or for your long support of, of the show. Small Town Machine Shop. That's Big big Town Machine Shop. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, so this is from, well, this is cool. This is from John. Uh, John is an artist. He's like a real artist um, who does amazing work. So this is some of his stuff. This is so cool. Um... 
Is he? Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna show this stuff off, and I uh, uh, not to you know discourage anyone from buying his stuff uh, just because you've seen it here. If you've seen it here, then it'll encourage you to maybe get some of your own. But so we've got first of all, we've got these, and these I think these are stickers. They feel like they have a backing to them. Uh, let me see if I can check without damaging one. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm losing track of the important thing. The important thing is to show off the artwork. So this, this is all, this is really cool. Um, so we've got some kind of, uh, ethereal, uh, artworks, uh, a very unique style here. Um, I've, I've, uh, enjoyed, uh, John Carling's work, um, for several years now. And, uh, I have a, a uh, a t-shirt he sent me a t-shirt um and i like t-shirts uh so that was very nice so these and, and th there's this there's this let me make sure i didn't miss anything and make sure i got everything out of the envelope i oh i did not i did not uh okay now i got everything out so all right now these are definitely stickers um so this this stuff is really this is stuff is really special to me because this is something that that someone has created uh, and sent to me. That's just so amazing. Uh, so there's this. Now, I'm very curious about this spell book. And it's, yes. Okay, so spell book by John Carling. Come on, cat. Give me a break. Um, so, hey, that's neat. Yeah. This is this is just a very unique thing. You know who would like this? Uh, my daughter Audrey would love this. I'm gonna show this to Audrey. Audrey uh, loves art. She does art herself. Um, oh, thank you, Rob, for the super chat. Uh, hey, everybody, hit that like button. Thank you very much for the reminder. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, James, A.K. Ratface. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Hello, Oren Pax. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, thank you for popping in and saying hi and support. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, Jeffrey Ball. Uh, thanks, everyone. It's really nice to see everyone. It, it really is. It's a pleasure to see everyone uh, each week. So I, I love doing these live streams, and I hate missing them. I really do. So if I do have to miss a live stream, I, I really have no option. <laughs> so I have no other choice. Because if I have the choice, then I try to make them. Because I really like seeing you guys. Oh, hey, it's White Vegeta. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Um, so, yeah, there's this is really unique. Um, I am... Wow. Uh, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to uh, show this to Audrey. I think that she will really dig that. She, this is amazing. So thank you, John uh, Carling, and thank you for for your long support of the channel and your long support of me, and uh, you do amazing work. So that's awesome. That That's a great way to start it. Hello, Iconic Blood. Hello, Paul. Hello, Thane Woods. Um, and, um, uh, and Matt Edwards. Hello. How do you do? We got another Matt in here. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Oh, you know what? I didn't even mention that. Thanksgiving for people in the United States is this week, is this week. Um, so, you know, watch your, you know, your Thanksgiving movies and uh, eat your Thanksgiving food, you know, and enjoy your Thanksgiving family while giving thanks for all the giving. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thank you for for the happy Thanksgiving, and thank you for the reminder uh, to say th happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope you have a good time. Um, I, I hope you have a good Thanksgiving in if you're in the United States, because if you're not in the United States, if you're in Canada, then we've already missed it. So uh, happy late Thanksgiving if you're in Canada, um, and happy um, Thursday to everyone else. Um, uh, hello, uh, oh, thank you. Hello, Rob uh, Irizarry. Nice to see Rob in here. How do you do? Uh, yeah, uh, and um, another reminder, uh, on Fridays, uh, What's on Joe Mind uh, has their live shindig, so make sure you check out What's on Joe Mind. Make sure you subscribe to What's on Joe Mind. Um, I, I've said before, I'm not 
a news channel. I don't keep up with the news as well as I should. But you know who does? Those Juan Sanjo Mine people. Uh, they do a pretty good job of it. Hey, it's Peg Warmers. Happy Thanksgiving, Peg Warmers. It's very nice to see Peg Warmers. Um, and Sparkster says, enjoy not being around for the WKRP turkey drop. Yes, that's a, a great reference. Thank you for, for dropping that in there. And if you know what that reference is referring to, then salute to you. Uh, hello, Papa Fett. Nice to see you. Cold Slither rules. Um, okay, so... Those are the non-box items. I want to go ahead and open these boxes so we can uh, I can share these, show my appreciation and thanks for those who sent, um, uh, you know, sent the stuff, uh, and uh, and thank everybody. And then we will uh, hopefully have some time for some Mad Libs. I hope so. Um, have big plans. I, I'm gonna spend Thanksgiving with the family as usual. Um, thank you, Matt Rubin, for the super chat. Watson Joe Mine isn't streaming this week due to the holiday. I protest. I pro. You know what? Thanksgiving is off. If there's not gonna be a Watson Joe Mind on the day after Thanksgiving, then what truly do we have to be thankful for? Um, I, I guess. I guess I'll allow it. I guess I'll allow it. I guess I'll allow it. Uh, it. It's fine this time. I'll, I'll allow it this time. Um, but, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> but happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... Um, usually the family gets together at my parents' house and we'll just... We'll hang out there and eat and watch football. The Pats are playing. The Pats are playing on Thanksgiving. So that, you know, hopefully, you know, knock on wood, they're playing the Vikings. Uh, so good luck to us. Um, so let, let me, oh, um, okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, uh, let me, okay, so let me open this one, let me make sure I'm not exposing anyone's address, I cut the address off, uh, it says, uh, not to reveal, uh, or disclose in the video, um, uh, but it also says box number two, and I, I don't think I have box number one, so I hope that's okay, um, uh, yeah, yeah, let me, yeah, um, Yes, I agree, Rich. What's on Joe Mind is great. It's a really good show. Um, there are some excellent shows that keep up very well with the news. What's on Joe Mind is one. The Full Force podcast, another really great show. Um, I think we're very fortunate um, in our community to have these resources that really do stay hip on what's happening. Um, I I should, <laughs> but I never have done that as well as, as I should. Uh, so, so thanks, Watson, Joe Mind, uh, and all you other guys who are uh, keeping your finger on the pulse of the G.I. Joe news and information. Uh, thank you, Josiah. Watson, Joe Mind is doing an episode from uh, the 11-year vault. Yes. Oh, my goodness. 11 years. 11 years. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um uh, that's yeah, good point, Josiah. Jo good point. We 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 would at least have the muskets. We have the ranged weapons. We we have a chance. We have a chance. Um, although um, a, another friend of the channel, Kickley, uh, who is a painter and an artist, um, he has been he's in Minnesota and he has been doing like official artwork for the Minnesota Vikings. So that's cool. That's awesome, Kickley. Extremely happy for you. Still hope your team loses uh, on Thursday, but still happy for you. Still happy for you. That's pretty awesome. Um, oh, box number one's last night. Okay, uh, thank you, Diosaw. Thank you, Diosaw. Um, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm uh, very very behind uh, checking the uh, the post office and. Um, do keep that in mind if you decide to send something. And for that reason, you if you choose to not send anything, that's completely understandable. Uh, it's much more difficult for me to get over there and check the P.O. box than it used to be. Um, thank you. Hello, Draws. How do you do? Good evening. Uh, so, uh, first of all, thank you, Diosoth. I'm going to read this. I left some things out of the previous box, so I have sent these plus a few extras, accessories for um, the Janine figure. Okay, yes, I got that. Uh, or included as well as uh, more snacks. I like snacks. Um, um, the wrist peg on the Joe figure looks fragile, so do be careful with it. Thank you. Thank you, Diosaw. Thank you very much. Uh, keeping all of the letters that are sent to me. Uh, I have my 
Ah, uh, I have my. Ah, okay. I have I have my 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 fan mail uh, envelope here, um, which is getting rather full. I might I might have to I might have to add another one. Uh, so yes, uh, let's open this and check it out. Oh hey hey. So this is um, wrap snacks. And yeah, here we go. So these now I have had. Let's see, these are lemon pepper. I haven't had the, this exact flavor, but these are surprisingly good. These are surprisingly tasty. Uh, so it's a snack. You'll you'll never go wrong with snacks. I'm a very hungry person. So uh, we've got some wrap snacks. What's that? Lemon pepper. Ooh, sweet chili lemon pepper. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Uh, hey, chewing bubblegum. How do you do? Uh, thanks for being here. Nice to see you. Okay, so let me move some of the packing material. It's well packed, sir. Very well done. Well packed. Well packed. Um, and we have a. Hey, check that out. Uh, mini arcade. Okay, this is. Here's a blast from the past. It's Cubert. Check that out. It's like a. It's like a Lego Cubert. That is fascinating. I wonder if that would be close to in scale for. Uh, like the three and three quarter inch figures. That's intriguing. That's really cool. It's got the instructions on the back. Um, I, I, either I will build this or Audrey will. She, she loves building these things. So sometimes she snatches them. And she's like, I want to do it. So I might let I might let Audrey do that. That's really cool. All right, what we got here? What we got here? We've got. Um, what are these? All right, we've got a car. Got a oh, it's it's a transformer. Yeah, it's an Autobot. Uh, and we have oh, this is interesting. Oh, I think I think the accessories go with this, but I'll, I'll leave them in uh, just for to be careful. So this is check out this. Um, it's like a a cobra bat in viper colors. Dig that. Dig that. And I think that, yeah, the, the extra bits are in there. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't want to lose anything, so I'm trying to be really careful. Um, but there's the backpack with the other accessory pieces. That is fascinating. Um, I assume this is a uh, from a Black Major um, repro figure, but it actually feels pretty feels pretty real and it's got the rivets going the right way that's interesting this is this is fascinating so thank you thank you for this uh, I've not seen a cobra bat in these colors I uh, dig that that black chest with the the red cobra it, it's it's hard to get more iconic than a black chest with a red cobra that's that's pretty sweet. Um, okay, so I'm I'm not going to take the other bits out of there because I I they're really tiny and I don't want to lose them. Um, so let's see what what we got here. We have um, we have what appears to be another transformer. Um, it looks like uh, one of your robots in disguise. I I don't see what's he doing. Uh, I don't see. Um, if it is a, a an Autobot or a Decepticon, or perhaps it is one of the GoBots. Could it be a GoBot? Oh my gosh! Um, so I I I'm reluctant to try to transform these without instructions because I'm gonna just pop things off. I, I'm gonna be really careful. Nice car though. Nice car. That's nice. Um, and in here. What is this? This is intriguing. This is intriguing. Okay, so uh, these are the accessories that he was talking about. Um, and I'm also going to leave these in here because I don't want to lose these. So, like the Janine figure that I got last time. Uh, those are the accessories for that. And this is... What is this? Oh, hey, it's Mario Kart! It's sealed. Sealed in the package. Mario Kart. Uh, that's Donkey Kong. Mario Mario Kart's just a fun game, isn't it? So that's that's really cool. And this, who this? 
Oh, it's Toadette. Yeah. So hey, that so that's really cool. These these are also. I also can't promise that my kid won't steal these two. Hey, it's Bart. Hello, Bart. Hey, how are you doing? Um, uh, nice to see you, Bart. Um, and. Uh, and this is, I believe this, yes, this is the last thing in the box. I'm moving this. Ooh, I almost knocked my water off the table. See, this, I gotta be careful. I, I gotta be careful. So this is, I, I don't know what this is, in fact. Let me see if this gives me a hint of what it is. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, what is this? This is fascinating. All right, it is Masters of the Universe. Okay, all right, I got it, I got it. All right, so what we have here is a Masters of the Universe, and this is one of the newer ones, and this appears to be Sun Man, uh, appropriately named since he has a sun sort of shape on his uh, on his chest, um, and uh, he's got he's got a shield here. Um, yeah, that. Now this is to me this is fascinating because I um, uh, I'm, I don't normally collect these so I don't know anything about them. So it, are his wings supposed to be like this? Is that how that is that how that works? Is that how it, it, I, I don't I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's fascinating. So he's got he's got muscles, he's got wings, he's got a shield, and he's got a blank extra expression on his face. He's he's um, yes. I don't know. Is he judging you? I think if if I turn his head like this way, I, I think he's judging. I think he's judging. And if he's like this, he's surprised. Oh! Um, so, yeah. So, that's cool. So, that's everything in the box. Uh, thank you very much, Dinosoth. And uh, not only thank you for these, thank you for your long support of the channel. Um, it's... Oh, we've got... We've got these... Yeah, okay. There's, there's Sun Man. And... Um, what's this? Rulers of the Sun, Pighead, Wicked e Enemy of Sun Man, that son of a gun, and then uh, Space Sumo, Telekinetic Ninja. It's probably not even fair being a telekinetic nin ninja because a regular ninja can just beat everyone. So if you're a telekinetic ninja, that's like cheating. Um, so th that's uh, that's everything from Diosoth. Thank you, Diosoth. But uh, not just thanks for this, but thank you for your long support of the channel. Um, I, I have uh, noticed you uh, supporting the channel for quite some time, and it really does mean a lot to me. I am going to carefully put these over here because there are lots of small bits. I don't want to lose them. Ah! Excuse me. And there's the sneeze. Hey, it's Sergeant Slaughter's Slaughterhouse. The 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 Australian contingent expands. Happy birthday uh, to Zazel from Sergeant Slaughter's Slaughterhouse. Uh, happy birthday to you. I hope you had a fine birthday. Um, and, oh, don't forget, um, Zazel is uh, trying to get to Joe Fest next year. He's got a GoFundMe. Um, I didn't think to put the link in the description, but... Um, we'll get that. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Uh, but uh, hopefully uh, we will all see uh, Zazel at Joe Fest next year with Sergeant Slaughter. It'll be a Slaughter Fest. That's it. You see, they need to change the name. Just change the name to Slaughter Fest. And, and we'll just all show up. Um, so, yes, he's a sumo and a ninja and a telekinetic. See, that's, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. To me, that's like overpowered you can beat anybody you can beat anybody that way um uh i mean how do you beat somebody who's a sumo telekinetic ninja um and how, how do you even survive um but sincerely sincerely diosoth uh thank you so much i appreciate that more more than i can say uh, i am going to uh i'm going to open this box uh, this one is from Brandon Knight, another person who has supported the channel for a very long time. Thank you very much, Brandon. Um, it's just awesome uh, what you've done for me, and I truly appreciate it. Um, Sergeant Slaughter Slaughterhouse went to Guns N' Roses last night. That's nice. That's cool. 
That's cool. They're still they're still going, are they? They're still going. Uh, did they welcome you to the jungle? Did they do that? Um, that's uh, now that's really great. That's really great. That's that's not a bad uh, birthday celebration. Um, so this is from Brandon Knight. Let's see what we've got. Um, let's see. This is an envelope. Let me see. It has a whale on it. Oh, um, this is a card. Let me read through it real quick. Uh, I always read through these to make sure there's nothing too personal in it. Let me see. Uh-huh. Uh uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, there, there is a little bit of personal information on here. Yeah, uh, so uh, I won't read this entirely because there is a little bit of personal information in, on here that would actually allow you to find where he works. So I don't want to do that. Um, oh, thank you, Josiah, for the Super Chat. Uh, there's no way you can get uh, to Mad Libs in 30 minutes. That may be true. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um but uh, but I will say um, uh, thank you, Brandon. Um, I have seen the six inch GI Joe figures in the vintage packaging. Uh, they are cool. Uh, I will say though that uh, at the Walmart near me, they have two two pegs full of Lady J, and I like Lady J, and I like that in figure in particular. But I don't know how quickly they're gonna burn through two full pegs of just Lady J. Not sure exactly how that worked out. Um, but, uh, but I do like the idea. Um, I do, I do, I have Lady J. In fact, she's staring at me. She's sitting right over there. I have Lady J. I have the Baroness from that series. So, uh, it is nice to see the, the vintage style packaging. Um, but just note to whoever is ordering for that Walmart, you got like 24 Lady J's up there, and that's that. That'll be it'll be tough to burn through those. Um, I can only buy so many, you know. I'm I'm not made of money. Um, but uh, next we have, um, what is this? It's AGS uh, bringing hobbies to your front door. Okay, latest thing. Okay, this is like a a hobby newsletter. Um, caution. Gundam Pros funds... Okay, so... Okay, okay. So Brandon sent this before, or sent one of these before. Okay, I'm just going to pull these out because I can see what they are. Um, I'm going to put this out over here. So uh, remember the Gundam that was sent before? Um, when when my daughter, Audrey, saw that, uh, she grabbed it. She instantly grabbed it and claimed it for herself, and she she had to build it. So she did, and she did build it, and she really, really liked it. So uh, here's here's what we got. We got uh, this fellow with uh, with the shield. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. This sort of Starscream-looking guy uh, that does look similar to the one from before. So that's cool. That's cool. And then and then we've got this. Now this this looks serious. This looks for real, man. I watch out for this one. Uh, so this is this is a cool thing. It, it's something to build. It's an actual activity. Uh, but I can tell you right now, Audrey is going to want to build these as soon as she sees them. She is going to snag them, which is fine. Uh, you know what? If a kid actually wants to participate in an activity, you got to kind of let them do it. It's it's too rare that they actually want to do something. Hey, L hey hello, JLS Comics. Uh, thank you for being here. It's really nice to see you. Uh, I'm going to, once again, very carefully put these over here uh, because I will not have anything lost or broken right after I open it. Um, so uh, thank you for that, Brandon Knight. And it's it's really nice to hear from you. Thank you for the, the card. Um, I thought... For, for your privacy, it would be better to not read the whole card. But uh, but thank you for that. Thank you for the nice note. And thank you for, for helping and supporting for uh, for as long as you have. Uh, yeah, JLS Comics ha uh, does excellent, excellent videos. Um, there's Alistair. He is trying to open. He's hinting at me to open the other box because we are, we are running short 
on on time. Uh, so okay, so this is oh no no, this is the big box. So this box is too big for me to fit on the. T well, I can sort of fit it on the table. Let me slide some stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. Bear with me. Um, all right, what do we got? Um, do we have? All right, I see. I see a letter. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's John Ulrich. Hello. Oh, thank you, John Ulrich. Another longtime supporter of the channel. That's awesome. Uh, let me read through this real, real quick. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Yes, um, so uh, there isn't anything too personal in here, but it does give away what's in there. So I, I think I, I won't read this one either just because it'll spoil the surprise. But I will say um, uh, to John Ulrich, uh, thank you. Um, he thanks me for the Joe content, but uh, thank you for being a longtime subscriber uh, and for all of your support for the channel. That's been really uh, really awesome, and and I very much appreciate it. So now I know what's in the box. So so I'll show you what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? We have some a oh, we really creative way to pack this with milk cartons. That's actually that that work. No eggs in them, or not not milk egg cartons. No eggs in in the egg cartons. But egg cartons. That's a great way to to pack stuff. That's actually really good. It's the first I've seen that, but it's an excellent idea. Oh, here we go. Um, all right, those are some bits and pieces, but that these go with what we will be looking at momentarily. There's a slip of paper in here. Is this something that is a note, or is it just a label? Yeah, it's just a label. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I might as well show this. Now, this is something that... Um, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me keep these together. Let me keep these together because I don't want to get ahead of myself. This. Oh, hey. You know what this is? This is the little rover scout vehicle for the Rolling Thunder. Check that out. Um, a nice little mini vehicle with a really nice big vehicle. So that's that's awesome. Uh, and egg cartons, really good idea. If I need to pack anything like this, I might use egg cartons. That's that's not a not a bad idea. Um, okay, so this these are we've got some some missiles. We've got a tail fin for the Ghost Striker. I recognize that immediately. And we've got some figure parts here. Um, some of which I might really be able to. Oh, some accessories too. So this is this is nice. This is nice. Um, as you know, as I've collected, I have um, acquired just lots of incomplete figures, and these accessories really help because I can piece some together. That's really cool. Uh, what do I see in here? I see fast draws, little trigger things. Um, I see barbecue's torso. Um, yeah, uh, so that's, these are awesome. I'm also not going to keep, I'm going to keep these in the bag because that's a lot of little pieces and I, they will go flying everywhere. I do not want to lose anything. That is the task for tonight is to not lose anything. All right, so we're getting to the nitty gritty here. All right, so you will recognize this. Okay, you will recognize this. Hello, Homer Simpson. How do you do? Um, you will recognize God, cat. You know what? The cat is. He wants to get in the box. I'm going to let him get in the box. As, as, as long as he's not destroying anything, at least he's occupied. Um, okay, so you this you will recognize. Hang on. Working on it. Working on it. And there we go. This is oh a very nice example of a cobra wolf. Check that out. Check that out. Yeah, um, the cobra wolf um, is. This is not a bad uh, vehicle to army build. 
Um, you can find them. You know, they're not so rare that you can't find them. Um, and they they look good as a team. And I just I just fired a, a snow torpedo again. Um, there we go. There we go. So so really nice cobra wolf here. Really nice. Um, hang on, cat. Hang on. Um, and let's see. Uh, those are egg cartons, but is there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, no, okay, guy. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, look. Say say bye to everybody. Hello, Kevin Maley. Uh, Ka Alistair says hello to Kevin Maley. Hello, Kevin. Um, and I'm I, I will have to put this on the floor because I can't reach in here otherwise to pull out the stuff that's in here. So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Milk carton. I keep saying milk carton. I mean egg carton. Egg carton. Okay. So what he has done here and what he described in the letter is he has sent... Grab that. A small army of cobra wolves. Vroom. Um, the Cobra Wolf is uh, a really nice uh, snow vehicle. And hi. Come on. Ah! Don't, don't, please don't knock stuff down. Yeah, so this is going great. This is going really well. Yeah, you get down there. You can play with the bubble wrap. It pops if you step on it. You'll love it. Um, so we've got Cobra Wolf number two. And a box. Ooh Please don't fall. Uh, and a box. <laughs> this is just so impressive. This is just so impressive. Um, yes. He, he, sent, he sent a squad. He sent a small army of Cobra Wolves. Isn't this awesome? Now, am I crazy? Or does is this reminiscent of the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back snow speeder? And I mean, am I nuts? Or could that have been inspired? Uh, thank you, uh, Comic Tropes. Uh, I, I will spend that on Cap Treats. Also, it's nice to see you here. Thanks for being here, Chris. Uh, and thanks also, Chris, for being a very good friend for a long time. Uh, Chris is a very good guy. And Comic Tropes is an excellent YouTube channel. Um... So that is Cobra Wolf number three. Uh, let's see. And we finish with... With... Come on, guy. Come on, guy. There. Oh! oh no. It's okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. We finish with Cobra Wolf number four. This is... Pretty darn uh, impressive. This is like a squad of cobra wolves. Um, that is amazing. So, um, so thank you. First of all, thank you very much. Um, and you know, this is this is special. And I think I think it would be. I think I should think of a way to give some of these away as gifts as prizes um I, I need to think about that I, I always think about this but I, I don't have a plan for doing it but um it would be um first of all it's very nice of uh mr ulrich to send these um uh, and um i think it would be great if if uh the community had these uh and people who are looking for cobra wolves have an opportunity to to get one so um uh chris misses his snow cat um uh, i i would like to throw my cat in the snow um but uh yeah the snow cat is a great counter uh great gi joe counterpart to this so that's freaking awesome um, thank you very much for that. Um, and who, who snuck in here? Uh, oh, Treasures for Trigger. Hey, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. And I'm sorry if I missed anyone. ASM42, I think I said hello to you, but hello again. Um, oh, it's Hans. Hello, Hans Chow. Nice to see you. I think I missed you too. Uh, thank you for being here. It's really nice to see everyone. 
and I believe yes, that's that's all of the unboxing. So, so, we, how much time we have? You know, I I will probably end up going a little over eight o'clock, but you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do Mad Libs. This is where I really should have like a uh, an intro song, some kind of jingle or something for Mad Libs. Where's my pen? The cat knocked it off. The cat knocked the pen off the table. Dude, hang on. I gotta get my pen. I'll be right back. One second. It's just right there. I can't reach it. Okay. All right. I got it. Okay. So, um, uh, Chris from uh, Comic Tropes sent uh, a Mad Lib, a G.I. Joe Mad Lib, and I have it here. And so how this works is, um, well, if I can get the, what's the problem? What's the, there we go. Um, how this works is um, I will very unscientifically pull the, uh, the, the chat uh, for specific things, okay? Um, uh, and I will, I'll just pick whichever one I think is the best. Uh, and, and then once that's done, we will, uh, we'll just read through this brief little story here and, uh, and it should be, it should be fun. It should be a lot of fun. So, uh, oh, uh, Josiah, thank you, Josiah, because Hans would donate if he could. He certainly would. And you know what? Hans has done enough. He's done all he can. Hans always, uh, gives, uh, above and beyond of, of himself. So uh, thank you, Hans, and thank you, Josiah, for the super chat. Um, okay, so here's how we're doing it. So I, I'm going to tell you to um, a Twinkie Wiener Sandwich. Um, that, that could be one. That could be one. Um, uh, I, will, I will ask for something specific. Uh, for ex example, I'll say, give me a number. And then I'll just pick whichever uh, pops up in the live chat that I think is the best. So, um, completely unscientific, totally unfair, um, and, and not, definitely not the right way to do it, but that's the way we always do it the wrong way here. So let's give it a shot. Okay. Mad Lib time. Uh, first, well, let's start with that. Um, let's in your live chat, uh, give me a number, a number. Bart already hit us with 65 or 69. Um, that's that's well, let's be honest, that's probably you know, uh, well, 13, we've got 69. Is there a number funnier than 69? Does a number funnier than 69 actually exist? 788. I don't know. I don't know if 788 is funnier than 69, but it's a pretty good one. 42, also a pretty funny number. Uh, six, um, we've got a couple 788s. Uh, 1,999. That's uh, that's that, that. Hey, that's when we party. That that we party just like that. 666, the the number of the beast. Um, 69, um, 6669. Uh, it's J, J, hey, okay, I think that's genius. JLS Comics has combined the number of the beast with the number of the, well, you know, it's a family show, so I can't completely describe it, but, uh, uh, but a, a classic funny number. So, we're doing it. Well, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing 6669. Okay, all right, all right. Everybody, everybody clear, clear your palettes, clear, because we're moving on to the next one. Um, the next one I need is an adjective. I need an adjective. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, so adjective. Um, uh, I can't off the top of my head think of an example. So, uh, and, and I don't want to influence the, the chat either. So I shouldn't think of an example, but, uh, but an adjective, throw an adjective out there. I'm, while you're doing that, I'm scanning ahead, just kind of see. Um, see what we got here coming up. We, and you know what? We got several adjectives um, that we need. So, 
Oh, I like oily. Oily. Uh, hang on, hang on to these. Uh, hang on to these adjectives because we'll need some more. Okay, we'll need some more. Okay, but I'm going with oily because I like that one. That's that's pretty good. Um, next one. Next one. Um, uh, we need a body part. We need a body part. So body part. Um, so name name your body part. Um, if, if YouTube uh, uh, censors you, that's not my fault. It, hey, I don't I don't create the uh, the censorship on the YouTube. That's done by corporate executives. Um, but uh, to the best of your ability, within the confines of YouTube's censorship, name a body part. Toe, weenus, <laughs> toenail, gut. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, pancreas, earlobe, nuts, thumb, funny bone. Oh man, these are good. This is gonna be hard to choose. Uh, oh man. <laughs> um, pinky toe. All right, well, I'm going with pinky toe. And we're gonna use that twice. Uh, and then, okay. And you know what? We'll just keep this going because the next one, the next one is another body part. Another body part. We need another body part. So keep the body parts coming. Keep them coming. Um, oh, scientific names. That's that's very nice. Nostril. Um, no, now, nostril is pretty funny. That nostril is pretty funny. Um uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with nostril. We got a couple of, of uh, 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 votes for nostril. I'm going with nostril. Five. Um, and okay, we need all right. One, two, three. We need three more adjectives. Three different adjectives. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Yeah, yeah I rub you too. I rub you too. Okay, so adjectives, adge ad more adjectives. Just flow with the adjectives, right? Do you, do you have any adjectives? Do you have any? You have none, do you? All right, here. There, there. Believe it or not, he's actually behaving better than usual. Um, so, okay, adjectives. Venomous, uh, luminous, parsimonious, uh, premature. Premature is not a bad one. Uh, uh, excitedly feline, uh, going to Taco Bell, <laughs> um, parsimonious. That's a good word. Uh, I'm okay. Crispy. I like crispy. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Please don't knock those down. Please. Um, uh, annoying, glut uh, gluttonous, gaseous. Oh, gaseous. And let's see, um, one more, one more, one more. Your name, fabulous. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Oh, fa yeah, fabulous, fabulous. Oh, please stop. Oh, that's making me nervous. Okay, all right. So we're good on adjectives. So clean, cleanse your adjectives. Cleanse your adjectives. Please don't do that. Oh, that can't go. Okay, time out. Um. What we need next is a plural noun. You think about plural nouns while I get the cat away from the expensive collectibles. Hang on. Ah! No, you can't do that. You're going to break it, and that would be bad. Don't do it. All right, you need to stop now. You need to stop. You need to stop. We will play later. There. Okay. A certain cat cannot take a hint. Okay, so we need a plural, uh, plural noun, plural noun. What we got? Spicy, plural noun, plural noun. Heavy geese, poops. Um, we're going with you know what? In honor of comic tropes, who has uh, provided this Mad Lib? We're going with poops. Uh, as, as, uh, and with a special thank you to comic tropes. Thank you for the poops. Uh, next, we need a noun. Um, I guess a singular noun. Yes, a singular noun. 
Singular noun. I guess we could turn any of these into singular nouns, right? Um, see, gaggle da 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 da. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, kitty and cat. Let's see. You're right. Comic tropes is a plural noun. That's a good point. So is GLS comics. Uh, boobs. Um. Uh, I, I'm tempted to go with boobs, but in honor of Thanksgiving, I'm going with turkeys or turkey. Singular noun, so we're going with turkey. All right. Okay, so that's good. We got that. Now we need another number. Another number. So our first number was 6669. Uh, what would be another number another number 1776 that's actually not too bad in fact i might go with 1776 uh turkey boob <laughs> uh 1982 that's also a pretty good pretty good number um let's see 82 88 877 um you know i'm you know i'm going to be self indulgent uh, 789. No, no, that's it. No, that's it. Space Cobra has it. Uh, thank you, Space Cobra. It's 789. That, there's a joke. There's a joke. I won't tell the joke, but it's a joke. The, 789. Um, is That's it. It's 789. We got it. We got it. Um, let's see. What, what's next? Uh, so we got... Dun, 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 dun. We're down to... We need a verb. We need a verb. So hit me with a verb. Your verbage, the, your verbosity, uh, verbify me, uh, v verbification, eating is see, that's a good one. Uh, let's see, uh, t -t 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 verbs, verbs, vomit. Uh, that's that's pretty good too. Um, Lick is also a, a good one. Thrusting, uh, yeah. Um, I, I'm I'm torn between uh, vomit and lick, kick, uh, flounder, stretch, twerking, <laughs> um, uh, stomping, eat, walking, dripping. Oh man, this is this is. Um, let's see. Uh, Da, 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 spitting that's that's not bad slurp slurp i'm going with slurp slurp what are you getting into oh that's fine he can get into that that's okay um okay so that's a noun all right the next thing i'm going with slurp for our noun um the next thing we need is i'm sorry a verb not, not noun um I'm going with slurp for our verb, and next we need a noun. So let's let's think about nouns now. Let's think about nouns now. Uh, hello, Raisiner. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, nouns, nouns. Not yes. Not we're 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 purging verbs out of our brain, and we're thinking about nouns now. Uh, pudding. See that some of these like uh, I, I'm tempted to like. Pick the first one that comes up because the first one that comes up is pretty good. Um, but pudding is not bad. Brian is not bad. Feline. Yo-yo. Uh, uh, tailpipe, file truck, porta potty toenail clippers. <laughs> all really good. Very creative. Thanksgiving. The UN. Uh, snake. Corn. Stuff. That... Stuff absolutely boob. I think we didn't. No, we didn't get boob. Um. Uh. I I thought we had already used boob, but I we have not. Let's uh, see. So maybe maybe see a can to pickle. Um. <laughs> Sky striker digestive system his tank cornucopia. That's a that's a nice word. That's that's a that's a uh, that's a good word. I think. Let's see. Um. Uh, let's see. Have we done? Let's see. 
Um, we're gonna, you know what? We're we're going we're going with okay. I'm going with boob. Okay, uh, not because of how many times it was put in there, but because I think it'll fit. Uh, I, I think it'll fit the, the story. So we got a noun. Okay, so let's purge our brains of nouns. To go away nouns. Go out of our minds nouns. And now we need, what do we need? An adjective. Another adjective. There's There are lots of blanks in this one. So this is, we got a lot, a, a lot going here. So let's go to adjectives again. Let's go to adjectives. Um, it's, it's okay to, to shoot me some that you had already sent because we, we need more. How many more adjectives do we need? Uh, da, 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 one, two. So we need two more adjectives. So let's let's go with an adjective. We already we already got that. Uh, thank you, Samantha. Uh, smelly, slimy, grabby. Let's see. Uh, uh, flavored, <laughs> wet, putrid, shiny, uh, slick, slinky. These are the. It's tough to choose because a lot of these would be really good. Um, enraged, hot, uh, grimy, um, robust. Um, I think what's gonna fit the best with this? Um, I think. Okay, smelly, smelly. I'm going with smelly. Okay, but but keep adjectives in mind because we need uh, at least one more. So after adjectives, we need an animal. We need an animal. So, <coughs> excuse me, think of an animal. I'm not referring to that to animal from the Muppets. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of an animal. An animal. Kitty. Spicy. Okay, small. Uh, stiff. That's That also would have been a good one. Um, so we're, we're looking for an animal now, an animal, cat, cat. You know what? I think I'm just going to go with, well, let's see, um, snail, liger. <laughs> no, that's it. Uh, Matt, I, I'm going with Matt, um, jackass. That's it. Jackass. All right. Jackass. So we got, we've got, we've got a, we've got an animal. Horny toad also would have been a really good one. Uh, so, but we're going with jackass. I love it. I love it. Um, and after animal, we need another adjective, another adjective. Uh, I'm tempted to roll back and look at some of the adjectives that you already sent. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Um, but, uh, sh shoot me, uh, some more adjective. Wait, how many adjectives? We Hold on. Animal. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. We, uh, yeah, we need two more adjectives. I thought there was only one, but I missed one. So, uh, adjective, jackalope, engorged, uh, and, uh, squishy. You know what? I I'm I'm going with engorged. I, I'm I'm just gonna pick engorged because it's a funny word. Okay. Um. Well, why don't I go ahead and pick the next adjective since we need one anyway. Uh, so uh, keep the adjectives coming. Let me keep the adjective coming. Squishy, buttered, <laughs> thick, fried, blue. Um, let's see. Uh, blushed, squishy, drizzle, uh, buttered. Oh, I like buttered. You know what? I'm going with buttered. Buttered. Okay, I like that. I think that'll fit. Okay, um, let's get let's see, an adverb. We need an adverb. Need an adverb now. Uh, so, so think of your adverbs. So shoot me some adverbs. Uh, and while you're doing that, I'm going to fix my list a little bit here. Kind of got a little sloppy. Uh, but, uh, okay, adverbs. Adverbs. Thro throbbing. <laughs> um... So adverbs, adverbs, vigorously, there you go, voluptuous, that's another, I like, you know, there are certain words that you just, they, they just sound good, voluptuous is one of those words, angrily, angrily, um, angrily, farty, furiously, um, 
indefatigably that's a that's a yeah you you guys are really you got a pretty good vocabulary i like your vocabulary swimmingly stinkily uh quickly um pulsatingly uh oh that's really good uh pull i mean you know what that's it pulsatingly pulsatingly that's it so that's good we're, we're going with pulsatingly my goodness um and after that we need we need a verb ending in ing so we need a verb ending in ing and you know what we need one two more verbs after that um not all in a row, but let's 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 think about verbs. Let's think about verbs. But we need a verb that ends in ing. So let's think of a verb that ends in ing. Um, let's see, uh, verb, and that is a noun. Verb and verb. Okay, verb ending. Oh, twerking. See. Some of you guys are really quick-witted, and twerking is a, that's a really good verb ending in ing. Um, that's horsing, belching, uh, thrusting. JLS Comics really wants thrusting. I may I may have to give JLS Comics thrusting. Um, um, let's see, how would that fit in the story? Um, yeah, no, that's it. You know what? Actually, thrusting, thrusting, thrusting. Wait, uh, yes, no, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with uh, thrusting. Okay, it's thrusting. But go ahead, keep going with verbs. We need two more verbs. They don't have to end in ing, though. So two more verbs, uh, but they don't have to end in ing. So two other verbs. Hit me with two other verbs. Um, two other verbs. Uh, hitting, skating... Um, do it, um, strutting, punch, um, so yeah, you got the idea, you got the idea, uh, let's see, um, uh, okay, twerk, although I almost went with twerk earlier, so I may go with twerk this time, tweaking, <laughs> smoke, spank, uh, let's see. How would that fit in the story? Um, um, okay. Uh, eating is paying for a serenading pump. Um, pump it. You know, pump, pump might work. I'm going, I'll go with pump, pump. And one more. We need one more verb, one more verb. And then we're going to need like three nouns after that. Uh, flip, gleaming, choking, uh, ventilating, hack. Um, let's see. One more verb. Let's see. What have I missed? I probably missed some good ones. Jingle, sweep, beat, uh, assemble. Um, let's see. Vegetating. Uh, stare. Masticate. <laughs> That's great. Dump. Uh, chew, rock chop drop kick drop kick i like that poke advocate it's good it's good i'm trying to i'm trying to think of what'll fit in the story careening drop dangle uh mock ah oh, these are so good let me think let me think um let me scroll let me scroll up for a second let me what have i missed here Running, eating, kissing. Let's see. Let's um. Let's see. Da da da. Fly. You know what? I. You know what I think I should do? I think I should go with twerk. Um. No, that's not, that wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit. Um. That wouldn't fit. D we have dingle and dangle. So, uh, uh, dingle and dangle. Let's see. Um. Let's go with. Let's go with. Let's go with Dingle. I'm going with Dingle. What's the difference between Dingle and Dangle? I don't know. I'm no I'm no dictionary scientist, but I'm going with Dingle. Uh, now we need we need three nouns. We need three nouns. Let's 
So, uh, so hit me with one, two, excuse me, one, two, three, and this is it. This is it. This is all we need. This is the last of it. Belly flop. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's so tempting to like take the first one because that's that's pretty good. Belly flop, um, extensive enterprises, puppet. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. This one is let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, you know, belly flop is a oh, pissant. That's a, another good one. Oprah, uh, bathtub, artichoke, sunflower, bubble, uh, Obi Wan, playset. Um, broccoli. Oh man, this is um, blowhard. You know what? Yeah, okay, that's it. Blowhard. I'm going with blowhard for the first one. Uh, I need, I need two more, two more. Master Blaster. That's who runs Barter Town. Uh, let's see, Conan the Librarian. <laughs> Thank you for the UHF references. Hello, uh, Veronica. I don't think I said hello to Veronica, but hello, Veronica. Um, Fart Knocker. Um, Swifty, Barter Town. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh, Goose. Uh, oh, you know what? Um, actually watched Top Gun not that long ago, so in honor of Top Gun, I'm, I'm going with Goose. And I need one more. One more. Killer Whale. Uh, that is not bad. Curb. Badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers. But I'm I'm tempted to go with my... You know, pudding. That's it. Pudding. Pudding. And that's it. Okay, we got it. Okay, that's everything. That's everything. That, that's it. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Dino Hunter. Okay, are you... Uh, uh, hello, uh, the Trek Reviewer. I don't think I said uh, hello to the Trek Reviewer. Hello to you, uh, and thank you for being here. Twinkie Wiener Sandwich, your favorite. Um, so I think I think we're good. Uh, Master Blaster would be a, it probably would be a good porn name now that you point it out. Um, you know, when Master Blaster is not busy running Barter Town, you know, you'd have a, have a, a side gig. Um, so, all right, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's, uh, I'm going to, this is why I, I, it's hard for me to go much longer than an hour because my voice starts to give out, but I'm going to do this. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Everybody, everybody relax. Everybody get ready. Everybody, so you, you need to stretch. I don't want you to pull a hammy, you know, stretch if you need to. All right. All right here we go. Here is the GI Joe Mad Lib and the cat is making his way over here. Uh, menacingly can you can I do this it's the last well it's not the last thing after that we got to open this thing um, so but it's almost the last thing I have to do if you could just not destroy anything just for a minute don't don't get in my water please yeah, please don't knock anything down Arr. what are you getting into what are you getting into you know hey but look at this look at this look you got we got bubble wrap here this is a cat's a delight over here. There's so much cat stuff to play with over here, away from the expensive things. All right, I think he's going to be okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Uh, Comic Tropes' body is ready, but is your mind ready? Is your soul ready? Mine is. Okay, ready? Okay. The title of this is G.I. Joe Orientation. It starts. Think you've got it. <clears throat> Think you've got what it takes to join G.I. Joe? Just know that all 6669 members, 6,669 members, have gone through orientation and you'd be expected to pass through this oily training too. Oily training, that's my kind of training. Um, first, every team member must study pinky toe to pinky toe combat um, so that's, I think that's sort of like pinochle. So pinky toe to pinky toe combat. Snake nostril is your instructor. Uh, snakes have nostrils. That could happen. It could happen. He has studied crisp, um, sorry. Yes, he has studied crispy arts from the ancient teachings of masters such as the gaseous master and the fabulous master. 
I just I, I liked the idea of a fabulous master. The the Arashikage should have a fabulous master. He would be fabulous. Next, uh, where are we? Next, it's time to study. Okay, yeah, okay. Next, it's time to study poops. Turkey block will make sure you can field strip all these seven, eight, nine NATO approved weapons. By the time he's done with you, you will be able to slurp a target and hit the boob every time. Slurp a target and hit the boob every time. I'll bet you'd like to slurp a target and hit the boob every time. Uh, next, be sure to have your uniform smelly when you report to duty in the morning. You know, get it pre-smelly. You're all going to be sweating. You don't want to be the one not smelly. Everybody else is going to be smelly. Uh, so be sure to have your uniform smelly when you report to duty in the morning. Uh, General Jackass could personally inspect your looks to meet G.I. Joe's engorged standards. Not just standard standards, engorged standards. Think about that. Visualize that. Uh, and be sure to wake up... Wait, 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 wait. And be sure to wake up pulsatingly so that you're ready to practice. Uh, where are we? Uh, okay, uh, pulsatingly so you're ready to practice th uh, thrusting. Um, da -da -da -da. Buttery Bill will show you how to, uh, to pump. And Blowhard will make sure you can dingle. It's not easy to be a G.I. Joe, but with goose and pudding, you might just have what it takes. With goose and pudding, let's, that's what we will leave you with on this fine Tuesday to contemplate. With goose and pudding. You might just have what it takes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris, from Comic Tropes for the Mad Lib. And thank you all for contributing. That was fun. That was long overdue. That was long overdue. We need to make that more of a regular thing. More of a regular thing uh, and not just a rare uh, one-off thing. So so uh, and for Thanksgiving, everyone, enjoy your goose pudding. Uh, and, yes, Buttery Bill. Buttery Bill. And last but but not least, we're going to yeah. See, doesn't Blowhard sound like a pretty good uh, code name? You can you can imagine how somebody got that code name, right? If you if you got a guy who's code name Blowhard, there are only so many ways you can get that that code name, and you you can you can imagine which one. Uh, so I am opening our micro figure. Oh as our last act and will we finally get a gi joe you know I'm, I'm getting these all from the same place and i'm starting to think they don't have any joes that it's all we've gotten transformers we've gotten ninja turtles we've gotten he-man we have not got a single joe although thanks to comic tropes for for sending me uh the joe figures yes turkey block everybody um enjoy your thanksgiving with turkey block and your goose and pudding. Uh, so here we go. So this is. Should I keep? No. Um, should I keep getting these? We've had so far zero luck. Yeah, exactly, Bart. You know, you you, you come up to a guy with code name Skidmark, and you you you, you can pr kind of figure out how he got that name. Yeah, yeah. Um, should I keep still getting these? I don't know. We've had zero luck. We have, have had zero luck. Do we, will we have luck this time? I'm afraid to even look. I'm afraid to even look. What did we get? We got we got another Masters of the Universe. Who do we get this time? Tila. We got Tila. Eventually, you're going to end up with a full set of Masters of the Universe. I haven't pulled a single Joe out of those. I don't know. Should I keep doing it? I don't know. But anyway, this 
that's how our luck is going. We got Tila. Actually, Tila is, is a very fine character from Masters of Universe. Nothing wrong with Tila. Nothing wrong with Tila, but it's not what we were going for. You know what I'm saying? It's not what we were going for. So, okay. So, we're good. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. I am tired, and my voice is going to give out if I keep talking. So, I really do need to wrap it up. So, um, I will say uh, thank you to everyone. Thanks for, um, for the boxes that you sent. Um, again, if you would like to send boxes to the uh, post office, please consider that uh, it's taking me a very long time to get around to checking the post office. So I would be, I would very much understand if you decided not to send anything. That would be totally cool. Um, but thank you to everyone uh, that sent stuff. I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate everybody that's here. This really is. Uh, the best time of the week for me. This is the best night of the week, and I really appreciate it. So, anyway, for now, though, I will wrap up, and I will say good night. Good night, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.